why do we pray to the saints? You know, it's Father Bryson, we're here at the St. Joseph altar at St. Joseph Co-Cathedral in Thibodeau. I, I gotta tell you, um, St. Joseph is, is my favorite saint. Um, I pray to him every single day, just about every morning, because St. Joseph is so close to Jesus and to Mary. And I, I just, I just want to say a little bit about that. Why do we as Catholics pray to saints? And, and why do I, every day, pray to St. Joseph? Every day, pray to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Every day, ask my friends in heaven to pray for me. In the letter of St. James in the New Testament, chapter 5, it says, The prayer of a righteous person has great power in its effects. The prophet Elijah, James tells us, prayed and the sky was closed. There was no rain. And then the prophet Elijah prayed again and there was rain. The letter of James in the New Testament tells us that for people who are close to God, their prayers have a particular power, have great power in their effects. And we all know this. When you need prayer, who do you go to? I, I know who I go to. I go to my friends who are closest to God, at least as far as I can tell. My friends who I know pray a lot. My friends who act in a Christian way, who act virtuously. And so it's the same thing with the saints. The Bible further tells us in the book of Revelation, chapter five and chapter eight, that the prayers of the saints rise before the throne of God. In Revelation, it says that the prayers of the saints are like incense rising up in front of God's face, a sweet smelling incense. The prayers of those who are particularly close to God, those who are particularly holy, have this, this pleasing fragrance before the throne of God. And so it's, it's, it's really that simple. That's what we mean by, by praying to saints. Because what is a saint? A saint is a holy person. The word saint simply comes from the Latin word for holy. And in the Bible, you might know that sometimes saint means, like St. Paul will use the word saint to mean people in the world, who not yet in heaven, but people here like you and like me who have been sanctified, who have been made holy by our baptism. And at other times, like in the book of Revelation, the Bible seems to indicate saint being people who are actually like St. Joseph, already in heaven before the throne of God. Usually today, when we say saint, we mean someone who is in heaven. When the church declares someone a saint, it's the church is saying definitively that that person St. Joseph, the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Peter, St. Paul, the St. Teresa of Calcutta, or St. John Paul II. That person is there with God. And so if you and I, when we're asking people on earth to pray for us, go find the people who, as far as we can tell, are closest to God. And if the prayer of a righteous person, a person who acts virtuously and who is close to God has great power in its effects, says James, then why would we not ask the saints who have already made it to heaven to pray for us because they are close to God. First John says that, that when we go to heaven, so the saints now, that they will be like God or now they are like God. So they see God as he is. See, God, the saints know what we say to them. The saints know the prayers that we offer to them because because God tells them, because they see us as they see, or they see us rather in God. They see us in many ways as God sees us. So we ask that their prayers might join with ours and rise up like incense before the throne of God. But maybe there's still one more question in your mind or in your heart. Well, Father, why then do we say, I pray to the saints. Isn't praying like an act of worship or something that we should only do to God? Well, that's a good question because today in 2018, that's how we usually use prayer. It's about talking to God. But pretend you're watching a movie set in the Middle Ages or 
pretend you go to the Renaissance Fair where everyone's in costumes and so forth and it's as if we were in the Middle Ages. So you, you watch the movie or you show up to the Renaissance Fair and someone comes up to you and says, hey, my lord or, or my lady, I pray thee, tell me thy name. What would they be saying? Well, translated to modern English, it would just be, sir, ma'am, could you please tell me your name? And that's, that's really all that pray means in English. To pray is to ask. And so when we say, I pray to the saints, I pray thee, St. Joseph, bring my prayer before the throne of God. And so, y'all, I, I love that I have friends in heaven who are always taking my intentions and taking me before God. I love my relationship in prayer with St. Joseph and with the Blessed Mother, with St. John Paul II, with St. Paul. I love my relationship with these people who are also members of the body of Christ with me. And I just invite you to share in that. I just invite you to pray to the saints because the prayer of a righteous person has great power in its effects. God bless you.